Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we want to examine the concept of market segmentation, targeting, and positioning, STP. I want to start by letting you know that these three interwoven concepts segmentation targeting and positioning have been described in the marketing literature as target marketing and it involves identifying the most profitable segment i'll start with market segmentation proceed to targeting and before i examine the concept of positioning I will need to introduce the concept of differential advantage. You may not fully understand and appreciate the important concept of positioning unless you understand the concept of differential advantage. In business, you can only succeed to the extent to which you can differentiate your product, your service, and your business at large. So you need to learn the various ways you can create a differential advantage for your business, for your product, for your service. So I start with market segmentation. I would not be wrong to see modern marketing is anchored on market segmentation. And you understand the reason for this statement. And let us first note that the concept of market segmentation was introduced into the marketing literature by Smith as far back as 1956. And the concept recognizes the homogeneity of groups of customers from a large heterogeneous market. Within 10 minutes in my next physical class, 10 or 15 minutes, I will find time to demonstrate this statement. Recognition of homogeneity of groups of customer from a large heterogeneous market. I will show you a nitrogenous market and how there are clusters of smaller customers, that is groups, in this large nitrogenous market. So what this means is that segmentation recognizes that in a toothpaste market, They are heterogeneous customers. Heterogeneous because customers in that market require different needs in toothpaste. There are customers who just want to maintain their white teeth. We call them cosmetic segments. 
So anytime they are buying toothpaste, they look for toothpaste that will help them maintain their white teeth. There are customers who want to prevent cavity or who want to solve the problem of cavity. They already have holes in their teeth. So their toothpaste need is different from those who want to maintain their white teeth. There are some customers whose teeth are sensitive and they need toothpaste that can help them solve the problem of sensitivity anytime they drink cold water they feel sharp pains if they take orange pineapple they have problem with their teeth for days so the needs of customer for toothpaste is different from those of customer with cavity and those customers who want to maintain white teeth. So this is what this statement is all about. That market segmentation is all about recognition of homogeneity of groups of customers from a large market. You'll be a bad marketer if you assume that all customers in the large toothpaste market have the same need for toothpaste. So as a manufacturer of toothpaste, you are required to now identify different groups of customers that have different needs. This is what segmentation is all about. Segmentation is just defined. Let's look at the definition now so that you understand. I defined segmentation as the process of breaking a large market with diverse needs into smaller segments with similar needs and development of separate marketing means elements for each of the smaller segments. So what I have described earlier is what I have put together in this definition. We are breaking a large market. Don't forget. I said the market is large. Then with the fastness, that is heterogeneity. The meaning of heterogeneity is diversity. Like I told you, the customers in the market do not have the same need. That for a product, their need differs. What they want your product to satisfy. So we are breaking this market into smaller segments with similar needs. That is the cluster I referred to earlier, earlier, the group of customers that you have recognized. In the toothpaste, you can see some have a need for a toothpaste that will help them to maintain their whiteness, their teeth whiteness. So that is a group of customers. You develop a product that can help them maintain their cosmetics. Anytime they smile, they laugh. People appreciate their, their white teeth. Then another group is a group that wants to prevent cavity. Maybe they chew a lot of color. Maybe they are chain smokers. Or they do, they eat anything or things that can damage their teeth. So they want to prevent it. So that's another group you develop another product for them they don't have business buying a product that web those who want to maintain their white teeth to maintain the teeth then the third one i described 
is a group of customers with sensitive teeth. So that means in a toothpaste market, we have been able to identify three distinct groups of customers that have similar needs. Each of the groups have similar needs. Cavity, their need is similar. Cosmetics, similar. Sensitive teeth consumers or customers have a similar need. That is what this definition is saying. And development of separate marketing mix elements for each of the smaller segments. You can see you now develop different marketing mix product price place promotion for each of these three segments. Product you develop to solve the problem of cavity will be different for the product you develop to maintain white teeth and the one you develop to solve the problem of sensitive teeth will also be different from the two. This is a very, very important concept. If you don't get this concept right, you will not understand marketing and marketing management by extension. So this is where marketing begins. You have billions of Naira. You must identify the groups of customer. And as you identify the group of customer, I want you to note that you are identifying different opportunities in the market. In the case of toothpaste, you know that ah, there's opportunity in the cosmetic market. There's an opportunity in the cafeteria market, and so on and so forth. As a matter of fact, there are more than 10 segments in the toothpaste market so that you can understand how large the toothpaste market is and how heterogeneous how diverse that market can be so customers need for toothpaste can be up to 10 and above by the time you come for white teeth maintenance cavity prevention sensitive teeth and so on and so forth market aggregation This an alternative but less effective strategy to market segmentation. In fact, market aggregation is older than market segmentation. In the past, all markets were seen as aggregate markets. And you understand what I mean by this. Let's examine the definition of market aggregation. It is simply a strategy whereby a firm sees the larger market as one and undifferentiated and develop a single marketing mix for the entire market, irrespective of differences in their needs. So from this definition, it is straightforward that market aggregation is just the opposite of market segmentation. So under the two definition, the market is large. But look at where the difference lies. Under the market aggregation, your firm see that large market as one and undifferentiated. Under market segmentation, your market see the market as large but differentiated. So this means the other market aggregation, there will be only one toothpaste that serves the needs of the large market. Unlike under market segmentation, we have identified three segments, and I told you 
we can recognize identify up to 10 or more segments segments in marketing is a group of customer with similar needs a group of customers with similar needs that's what I mean by segment a smaller portion of the market so under market aggregation you can see that you develop just a single marketing mix for the entire market in the case of toothpaste market there will be just one toothpaste and that toothpaste is sold at the same price that's a comp that toothpaste is distributed in the same way and is promoted in the same way this is not the case with segmentation segmentation you have three segments like i've mentioned you have three products so that different prices you distribute them differently then the promotion will show different benefits that customers can derive from the product so you can use the same promotion to promote three different brands targeted at three different segments cavity prevention cosmetics and sensitivity in the past we used to have just one standard coca-cola if i can still remember i think in 29th year when we were young when we were growing up we used to know coca-cola in one bottle that's a very good example of market aggregation that coca-cola company just develop just one cola one standard cola bottle for all its customers ignoring the variation differences in their taste for coca-cola today that's not what we are having we have the standard coca-cola in different pot bottles that's segmentation there's one liter there's 35 there's 75 cl then there is uh the standard bottle there is pet bottle there is scan then in formulation based on the the the, the, the content sugar content of coca-cola you now have the standard coca-cola which they call classic cola they will now have diet coke then we now have zero coke you can see all of these that i've mentioned are segmentation in practice they are segmentation in practice so each group of customers buying different variety of coca-cola is a segment if you belong to a group of customer that buys diet coke that prefers diet coke to other 